Shulchan Aruch writes that when reciting Yishtabach, the Chazin should stand in order to be able to go straight into the Kaddish, that right after the Chazin concludes Yishtabach, we want to have no interruption whenever possible to go directly into Kaddish. As a result, if one stands, there will be minimal time in, uh, in between the conclusion of Yishtabach and Kaddish. It's for that reason that we've been recommending that the Shaliach Tzibor recite Psuki de Zimra actually in shul, even though for others we are recommending at this point in time to recite Psuki de Zimra at home through the bracha of Yishtabach in order so that they don't interrupt between Baruch Shammar and Yishtabach, since Yishtabach is the concluding bracha of Psuki de Zimra. But for the Chazan, since they should recite Yishtabach immediately uh, prior to saying Kaddish, so we don't want them to finish through Yishtabach, and we don't want them to be massive interrupt between Baruch Shammar and Yishtabach, and therefore we recommend that they should come to Shul and Davin, Psuki de Zimra in Shul. There's another issue, however, that I want to focus on in regards to Yishtabach, which is in, in regards to the, the 15 praises. You'll notice if you look through the paragraph of Yishtabach, there are 15 praises starting from Shur, Shvalcha, Halal, Zimra, etc., all the way through Baruch Shvaldos, Me'atav, Adolam. So even though there is some debate as to whether Brachos Vildos are actually part of the count of the 15 or whether it's only 13. But the Abu Draham and the tour quotes uh, that there are 15 and that includes Brachos Vildos. And those 15, I remember growing up, is always like a competition. How long can you hold your breath for uh, reciting Yishtabach? So the source for that is the Shlach. The Shlach Kadosh uh, suggests that one not even pause for the sake of a breath to try to recite all of those 15. Obviously, if one needs to breathe, one needs to breathe, but if one should try to recite all 15 in one breath. However, the Mishnah Berurah does rule in the name of the Chayi Adam and the Gra that that's not necessary. One, it does not need to be one breath, but it should certainly be without being masked, without any interruption, that it should be a direct flow from Shir Shvacha through the 15 praises of Brach Zvedos Me'atov Yadolam. So if one needs to breathe, one can breathe, but... Uh, but that there should not be any interruption verbally. Now, the Ben Ishchai rules, and Rav Chaim Kanievsky echoes this, this sentiment, which is that if one needs to recite, needs to, needs to interrupt, let's say that the, the Tzibor, one's still in the middle of Yishtabach, when the Tzibor is out to Kaddish, and you want to answer Yeheshmi Rabbah, so they write, one should answer Yeheshmi Rabbah, but because these 15 praises are one unit, that one, when one concludes saying Yeheshmi Rabbah, they should go back to the beginning of that unit of those 15 praises and, and start Shir Ushvacha again again. So not to just continue where they left off, but to act to make sure that you recite these 15 straight without having any verbal interruption. Again, if one can do it in one breath, then all the better. But the Mishnah Baruch quotes based on the Zchai and the and the Grah that it's not necessary and one can certainly do it in more than one breath as long as one, not, one does not interrupt uh, with any verbal interruption. Have a fantastic day.